All right. It was Brian Singer who first announced that Days of Future Past actor Josh Hellman would return as William Stryker for X-Men Apocalypse. Now, thanks to the latest edition of Empire Magazine, details have emerged about his scene, which is said to include Mystique, Beast, Quicksilver, and Myra Metagart. Empire says, The quartet have been kidnapped by Amy... Army twonk William Stryker following a cataclysmic event at the X Mansion and wake up in a holding cell. On a balcony above them, Stryker taunts his prisoners, demanding to know the whereabouts of Magneto. Fans are speculating about this holding cell, with many theories pointing it to, to it being the Weapon X facility. The same speculation points to this being the perfect place to include a Wolverine cameo, which has yet to be confirmed but often rumored. X Men Apocalypse opens in theaters May 27th. Sasha, do you think Wolverine will make a cameo in X Men? apocalypse okay before we even get to whether or not wolverine's gonna cameo josh hellman one of my favorites because he was in one of the great undiscovered shows of last year flesh and bone on stars if you don't know it you gotta watch it makuga i got him into it he's so creepy and so good and it's by one of the only female writers who was on breaking bad watch flesh and bone also like the best credit sequence okay Okay, so striker stoked he's in it Here's the problem with a Wolverine cameo. Is he going to be in it? Duh. Of course he's going to be in it, even if it's for four seconds saying, you know, fuck off. But here's the thing about it. Oh, are we not allowed to curse on the show? Oh, (laughs) oh God. Uh, Sorry. Anyway, okay. But you don't, here's, okay. We know probably Weapon X facility. Is it going to be a flashback? But here's the problem. Wolverine doesn't age. But Hugh Jackman does. So that's why he has to sort of exit out of this franchise because at a certain point, it doesn't make sense for the character anymore. So I think it's probably gonna be a heavily CGI'd scene where we see him maybe in the tank, it's just for a second. Maybe it's like a drive-by and we see the claws coming out. But I don't think it's going to be a huge part because it can't be a huge part at this point because within the storyline, it doesn't make sense anymore. Well, actually, uh, Uh, Sasha, uh, Wolverine does, of course, uh, age. uh, He he ages, just not as rapidly as everyone else. Right, but now at this Uh, point, in the timeline it doesn't make any sense because he's old as hell compared to what he was supposed to be even in the right. movies um i agree but i also think that he's going to absolutely be in the movie we will have a cameo i love the idea that they're going to explain a little bit more at, well we think if they do talk a little bit more about the weapon x facilities because what we know in the x2 that whole thing's kind of been washed away that mm-hmm. didn't happen anymore so then what did happen what happened i was always that was the one part of days of future past that i was confused at the very end when it looks like striker has wolverine i'm like oh great they're gonna get into it and then it's mystique and i was like why was that mystique that doesn't need to be mystique that should have stayed a striker that way i know that he still went to the facility and Mm -hmm. got the adamantium but maybe they'll explain it now i want to learn a little bit more about what happened to him but i love that this dude's coming back we saw him in the trailer for a little bit but to understand a little bit more about what's happening with striker and wolverine i like it yeah i i think you know what you brought up a good point that he does age but Hugh Jackman's one of those guys with great genetics where it's like if you look at (laughs) the year 2000 and you look at him now, it's like, it's not that much of a difference. Yeah, there is. That's not, well, not as much. With with makeup, yeah, with makeup and And Hollywood magic, I don't even think he needs to rock the CGI. He could just like, you know, just show up naked and the guy's like, what? He's he looks like he's 23 or something. <laughs> like whatever. Um, so anyway, I think he's going to be in that holding cell. It just makes per- it makes perfect sense if you're going to do a throwaway scene and get get Jackman in for like a one day shoot. I just hope they do drop that f bomb. But maybe it'd be cool if McAvoy and him are in the cell and someone else does it and then they look at each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> or whatever. I'm sure he's going to be in that scene. It just makes sense. So hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.